want to put together featuring this new vegetable I found at my local farmer's market. Here's right here. It is not a white pumpkin, although you could decorate with it because it is very cute and it kind of feels like a pumpkin, but it's not. It's actually, it's actually a squash mashed potato and I found it where the acorns are found and it cooks up or bakes up pretty much like an acorn or a, a normal squash would and in this video I'm gonna show you how I bake this up and how delicious it was the other night with steaks that we grilled I I found out about this yummy vegetable from my sister-in-law we happened to be chatting the other day and she asked me if i had tried one of these new white squash that tastes like potatoes and of course you know me if you know me i love potatoes and i'm trying to cut carbs so that's what really interested me about this because it has less sugar than a potato does and also i love trying new things it's just so much fun and um, so anyhow, I found this at our local farmer's market or garden center I love to visit in Northwest Ohio. And I'll share links to it on my website. Uh, you can just look up squash mashed potato and the recipe will be there for this today. Uh, anyhow, so I took photographs of this recipe as I was making it up and I'm going to just uh, share with you uh, just a few quick tips on how to cook this up now today what I used was my microwave to cook this up just because I was kind of in a hurry but since I have two this is my other one I'm gonna actually make another recipe out of this but this time I'm gonna try baking it in the oven instead of using my microwave but it really the flavor was amazing in the microwave so Okay, so this is a pretty simple recipe once you find the squash. First off, you're going to want to make sure it is a nice squash. It's kind of firm, you know, like most of the acorn squashes you'll find at the garden center. Don't get one that's bruised up too bad or mushy because it's probably not edible anymore. But um, all of these were in great condition because it is that time of year. Now, what you're gonna do first is wash it up and then carefully sit it on a cutting board. I like to hold it in place with a towel or a, uh, one of my um, uh, oven mitts and carefully pierce the skin. Just go around the entire white squash and pierce it with um, like a paring knife or I have a, a favorite steak knife I love to use and just cut little slits all over it and then you're gonna place it in the microwave I like to use my uh, steaming microwave safe um, plate dish set that I have um, that's in this picture here I set it on there because um, this dish actually allows me to put some water in the bottom of the dish and it kind of helps steam it I think so anyways put it on the dish a microwave safe dish or bowl and I put this in the microwave for seven minutes on high and pulled it out rotated it very carefully because it was starting to get soft microwaved it another seven minutes and when I brought it out it kind of looked like this and you could see it kind of goozy a little bit like juices coming out of it and it was done I was so excited that I should have waited for it to cool but I didn't I sliced straight into it so be very careful you might want to let it cool a little bit so you don't burn yourself uh, take a good knife and cut it right in half you're gonna want to open it up I got a little too excited and I cut the end off <laughs> just to see if it really was like mashed potatoes and it was I was just too excited and I forgot that in the middle of these are a bunch of seeds and you'll see it in the photo here so you're gonna want to take a little scoop and clean all those seeds out you don't need to rinse it just take a nice scoop a uh, nice spoon and just get all that out of the uh, white squash now 
that's pretty much it. I took and I scooped all the inside of flesh out of this uh, outside of the uh, white squash, which gets really soft once it's cooked. But it was super easy to peel all that yummy flesh out of it. I put it in my favorite mixing bowl. And by hand, I just went ahead and mixed in a little bit of butter. And it didn't really even need salt, but you could do salt and pepper. You could do garlic in it, whatever you normally do in your mashed potato, and just whip it up a little bit. Um, by the time the steaks were done, I did have to microwave this for just on warm ups, the warm up setting for about a minute. And it was delicious. Even my husband, who kind of was hesitant and didn't really want to try something new because I scare him with my stuff sometimes. He tried it and he loved it. So watch this. Look, it's just like a potato. The consistency. That's cool. Thanks for checking out my video today. I hope I've inspired you to try something new in your home and garden. Doesn't you that look super yummy? I had to put a couple of the pumpkins that I grew here in my home garden on the table just to decorate. They were so pretty. And if you have any questions about this recipe, you can find the printable recipe and also get a hold of me on my website at brenhaas.com. I hope to see you there.